I've got the OnePlus 7 Pro here, and today I'm going to show you how to unlock the bootloader for both the OnePlus 7 as well as the OnePlus 7 Pro. Now just a heads up, when you unlock the bootloader for this device it is going to do a factory reset, so it is going to delete everything you have on your device. Please back up any data that you can beforehand, even if it's just manually copying images and files to your computer. Back up as much information as possible beforehand and then you can proceed with the bootloader unlock process. Now to do this, you're going to need to have ADB and Fastboot tools installed on your computer. And if you're not familiar with how to do that, or with how to boot into fast boot mode, which we're going to do in a little bit, or anything else included in this tutorial, then in the look in the full tutorial on my website, and you'll find a link for that under the video in the description for those of you who are watching this on YouTube. Now that you have all of that set up, we can begin the process. And first we need to go into developer mode or developer options menu. So if you have not de enabled developer mode yet, do that now. If you're not familiar with how to do that, check the full tutorial. We're going to be going into the developer options hidden menu. And we're going to be enabling the OEM unlocking toggle right here. If you have a pin pattern or password set up, it's going to ask you if you want to confirm that. And then it gives you a warning telling you that device protection and verification features, including fingerprint payment and advanced DRM key, may not work while OEM unlocking is currently enabled. And we can disable it in the future if you are currently on the official one plus oxygen os software but i'll be talking about that in future tutorials so once we have enabled that toggle we're going to tap on the enable button right here and now we are going to boot the device into fast boot mode also known as bootloader mode And once we are in fast boot mode, we can then connect the OnePlus 7 or OnePlus 7 Pro to our PC via a USB cable. And then we're going to turn our attention to our computer as we open up a command prompt or Windows PowerShell or terminal and begin the unlocking process. So once you are ready, you're going to type out the command fastboot space flashing space unlock. And then we are going to press enter on the keyboard. That's going to trigger the unlock process and change the screen that we currently see on our OnePlus 7 or OnePlus 7 Pro. As soon as I pressed enter on the keyboard, the screen on the OnePlus 7 Pro changed to this and we are given two options we get a disclaimer here read it make sure you are aware of what you're doing and that you're willing to go through with this can't use the touch screen to select any options instead we have to use the volume up and volume down buttons to highlight a particular option that we want to select and then when once you are ready and you want to choose that option which is the unlock the bootloader option, we're going to press the power button to choose it. It's going to restart our OnePlus 7 or OnePlus 7 Pro. As I mentioned before, it's going to be doing a factory reset in order to initiate or in order to unlock the bootloader. This is for security measures. When the bootloader is unlocked, we're going to see this little screen during the boot process. So that is normal. 
And since this is our first boot after a factory reset, it's going to take longer than normal because Android and Oxygen OS has to set some stuff back up. So you're just going to want to wait and be patient during this process. As it will eventually boot us into the Android activation screen for Oxygen OS. And that's where we can log into our Google account, restore our data that has been deleted. and then go back to using our phone like normal. So I'm just going to go through this activation screen real quick and then I'll show you that we are back at the home screen for Oxygen OS. And there we go, we are back at the Android home screen on the OnePlus 7 and OnePlus 7 Pro after we have unlocked the bootloader. Again, like I said before, everything is wiped so you're going to have to restore all of your data, reinstall your applications and your games, and set your stuff back up. But there you have it. That is how to unlock the bootloader of both the OnePlus 7 as well as the OnePlus 7 Pro.